Hi guys and welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. I appreciate you stopping by. Today's video is on eight things you never noticed uh, in the MASH episode, Goodbye Radar. And we'll start. They took Radar's head out of the opening credits. For seven seasons, MASH began every episode with helicopters arriving over the mountains. Radar is the first to hear them. After all, that's why they call him Radar. Back of Burkhoff's head appeared as the first shot in those opening credits. At the start of season eight, Burkhoff announced his departure from the show. Producers thus removed his head from the opening. In addition, in those few episodes of season eight, before Goodbye Radar, the opening altered his credit to say, also starring Gary Burkhoff as Radar. It is also the last episode of Zel Selmo Zale. Radar was not the only character to bid adieu and goodbye Radar. Johnny Hamer made his first appearance as Sergeant Zelmo Zale in Season 2 and was last seen at the 407th 7th in Goodbye Radar Part 1. The electrician character was known for manning the generator, which plays a major part in the subplot of Goodbye Radar. Maybe he washed out if the generator failed. It is the last time Hot Lips was uttered uh, on the show. You called her Margaret. Here's another lesser known last from the episode. Hot Lips' uh, nickname was better associated with the MASH film and character depiction in the early episodes of MASH. By this point in the series, Major Houlihan had evolved into a deep, far deeper, headier uh, character. In part two, she kisses Radar, who then explains to Winchester, wow, Hot Lips. Klinger says, you son of a dog, in Arabic. Meanwhile, Klinger seeks a new generator. He nearly succeeds at one point until... Major George Van Kirk claims the machine. Klinger then utters, uh, mutters in Arabic, according to the subtitles, he actually curses. Uh, and I can't uh, say it, <laughs> but it means you son of a dog. Radar's love interest was also Rose's daughter on the Golden Girls. Radar meets the love of his life while waiting in an air transfer hut. Lieutenant Panty Haven even loves Great Neha. That's how you know this is serious. After a mere hour together, he vows to find her following the war. Marilyn Jones, who charmingly played Patty, made her television debut in this episode. Seven years later, she turned up in an episode of The Golden Girls as Bridget Nyland, daughter of Rose, played by Betty White. We'll look for her in the episode Family Affair. Patty Haven was an ex-girlfriend of the screenwriter. Kevin Levine uh, was one of the masterful scribes in MASH writing room. Goodbye, Radar. Would also be his last episode for the series, along with co-writer David Isaacs. We wanted to title the show uh, Goodbye Levine and Isaacs, but CBS nixed it. Uh, Levine uh, joked on his blog. He also admitted he named Radar's love interest Patty Haven, one of my former girlfriends. Erdoff did not want to wear his hat in the end. Kevin Levine also confessed that Radar's trademark cap became a sticking point in production. Gary decided he didn't want to wear his hat. This became a big issue and remains a sore spot with me to this day. Our contention was that without the hat, he no longer looked like a kid. He looked like a balding man rocketing in the middle age. Also, for reasons I still can't fathom, he chose to play the character somewhat angry throughout. There are characters named after L.A. Dodgers pitchers. Other minor characters in part one include Sergeant Lat Lagro, a private hoe, or how, Forrester, and Private Roos. Road hops aboard the crowded Jeep, forcing Radar off his ride. Longtime L.A. Dodgers fan might recognize the name Terry Forrester, Laren LeGro, uh, Jerry Roos, and Charlie Howe were all pitchers for the team in 1979. And there you go. I always thought uh, that uh, the final episodes with uh, Gary Barkoff, too, he, he had lowered, he lowered his voice, and it just wasn't the same character. And I, 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 you know, it was, it was still sad at the end, but I just, I never enjoyed that episode, the, the, both parts, because of that, because it, uh, it didn't make sense for him to change the character in the last two episodes, just kind of dumb, and it didn't work for me anyway. How did it work for you? Did you even uh, recognize that? Uh, please uh, subscribe. Please like this video. You guys have a great day. God bless you, and as always, I'm praying for you.